Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where we are once again in the Supercar Series today. Going back in time a little bit to a race that did actually happen this year in the Supercars calendar and that was the sort of Australian Grand Prix. Even though it didn't happen on the F1 side of things, I do believe they got a couple of races in on the Supercars side of things. So today... Nine lap race, nice little quick sprint race. At this race in real life, there's actually four races over the weekend. There's four little sprint races. Uh, it used to be a non-championship uh, points paying race or race weekend, but they changed it, I believe, a couple of years ago. Have managed to qualify off of six. Um, now, there is a few sort of issues I have so far with this mod on this track, uh, mainly being that I can't actually change the gear stack, so I keep hitting the rev limiter like halfway down the main straightaway. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, we'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. I mean, there is an, like, I think there's an adjustable thing you can do in the actual setup of the car mod before you go into the race, but I did just haven't had enough time to really play around with it. And yeah, that's enough talk. We will jump into this one and get away on this quick little formation lap. Once again, in the red or 23 red Ford Mustang so this car used to be driven by Alex no not Alex Davison Will Davison wrong brother in uh, real life but unfortunately they folded alrighty here we go supercar series around Albert Park on R Factor 2 oh, good getaway leaders not got away too well come on Joseph get the gear change right uh, three wide. Use extra curb so I don't get hit. Uh, and I've been muscled out there. Down into turn number three. This is where it usually gets all unstuck. Got one of the Penske Fords in front of us. Through this rhythm section, this corner is usually easy flat in a uh, in an F1 car, but this track is very very different to driving a, a V8 supercar. I have just come from F1 2020. I check, well, just checking out that new career mode or the new features in the career mode. Obviously, the first round is always at Melbourne, so going from an F1 car to a one-ton supercar is it takes a bit <laughs> getting used to, but. I mean, this track, I've done thousands on thousands of laps around this track on simulators over the years, so I, it's like riding a bike, this one. This track mod itself, I wouldn't say is completely up to date. They've got some bits missing. Well, AI are struggling through there. You know, just a few little inaccuracies, but it's still pretty good. I mean, layout's all the same. I love Albert Park. I mean, the Melbourne Grand Prix circuit is just insane. It's one of the last real sort of especially on the F1 calendar, F1 tracks where there's grass and there's gravel and if you make a mistake, you're not going to get away with it. Sneak up the inside. Yeah, boy. Ugh. But this track in a supercar, I find it's just, it's all about setup. I mean, it's nice and smooth, but it's all about that lateral grip, getting it as much side bite as you can. Now, as you can probably tell, <laughs> I'm smashing it off the rev limiter. That is a... That is, like I said before the race, one of the issues I'm finding with this mod. I can't actually change the gear stack or gear ratio. Uh, I don't know if that's actually what it's like in real life. Oh, big dive bomb. Like in terms of the supercar series and the regulations on actually changing the gear ratios. I know a lot of categories around the world keep their gear stacks sealed. Like for GT3, I think, for example, is one of them. So the gearing is what it is, but yeah, I'm not sure about the V8. Uh, so so, <laughs> so many of these corners are easily flat out in a Formula One car, and then you get to a V8 supercar, and it's like a struggle street. I have been to this race once in real life. I'll just turn that fan off me. It's hot in here. <laughs> I've been to this race once in uh, real life, and. When you go from watching like the F1 practice session to the V8 supercars race directly afterwards, it's like the supercars just seem to be going in slow motion. The speed differential is just insane. But anyway, yeah, the V8s, are, as we've come to sort of learn over the years, are definitely suited to more of that oh, stop. country style sort of Australian track or street circuits. 
you know, you stick a V8 supercar on an F1 track and it's just too wide open and and fast. I mean, straights are usually too long, so you can just about get away with it on, on Albert Park because it is one of those shorter sort of bullring style F1 tracks, but certainly not on the likes of, say, Abu Dhabi. Like, when when F1, uh, when V8s went to Abu Dhabi, it was boring as batshit, honestly. Never forget that race. On the shortened version, it was all right, but when they went and ran as a support category to the F1, it was absolutely terrible. Around the outside. Oh, not to it. Down, down. You! Hey, we're making moves here, lads. Just trying to not overuse this tire at the same time because this. Uh, get back and check. This track has so many sort of long corners. You really are leaning on it for quite a quite a while, and it is a sprint race, so it's not like we get a pit stop to plan around tire wear. Anyway, up into second. It's been a good sort of. Come back after a messy start. Chaz Mostert. Ahead of us. Bryce Forward was that car we just passed. I actually raced Bright, uh, Bryce quite a bit in uh, carts. He's from good old Darwin. It's never, we're never too fond of each other in the end, but <laughs> such is carding life. In fact, just looking through the, the names in the top six, I, I've raced just about every single one of these lot, <laughs> except for Chaz Mosser, he's a little bit older than me. But uh, I raced Anton Di Pasquale just before he went to cars, and I was about to say carts, <laughs> changed it halfway through. And then, actually no, I haven't raced Scott McLaughlin, but I have raced Bryce and Zane Goddard. Zane Goddard. Now, he was my teammate for a bit. We had the same engineer. Anyway, we're starting to get a gap on third. That is good. Just don't think we quite got enough pace for the holding out front, but. Just hold station here, try not to use up too much of the tyre that's not actually as bad as what I thought it would, going off the numbers, but as you can see there, just any time I try and hold this pace and steering angle, it just really works or overworks that left front. So tyre wear has definitely been an issue for the last couple of races I've done with this mod. Last time out, you know, I raced at Darwin, which was ridiculously hot as it is in Darwin all year round and just shredded the tire but we are using the Dunlop soft compound so a lot more grip but wears away a lot quicker than I'd like probably should have just gone with the normal compound to be honest but makes it more interesting anyway let's just try and focus for a lap or so here Head down and go. Oh, oh shit! Fucking hell. Okay, so that's, again, this mod. I'm not too happy with this track mod. I mean, there's like supposed to be astro turf, not grass, but some reason it's grass. Anyway, this is the most sort of up-to-date rendition I could find of Melbourne. Come on, Joseph, focus. Yeah, I just seem to be in a little bit of a struggle street right now. I've just keep pulling away from the car behind, but got nothing for the car in front. <laughs> so we'll just have to sit in second place and Hopefully hold on to it here. Make no mistakes, we've got around three or so laps to go. Just don't want to blow this tire apart either. I 
Right, last lap now. We got a five second gap to McLaughlin behind us, who I think has actually been catching us up on this last lap, but still got nothing for oh, Mustard out front. So we'll just try and make no mistakes on this last lap and bring it home on a podium, or on the podium, I should say. All right, around the final corner, onto the main straight, second place around Albert Park. Man, I just need to get a better fan for this room. It is way too hot in here. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. All the mods are in the description below if you want to check out any of these, if you have R-Factor 2. And yeah, until next time, catch you guys later.